Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4 in Old World Blues, playing as Vault City, in which last time we took out the people who are known as Pale Folk, as well as those who are known as Cyclops Tribes, which is kind of interesting, seeing as it looks like we still have a little bit of resistance here. Now, I believe this is core territory. I thought an occupied state. Uh, mm, hold on. Yeah, it should be, should be core territory. Hold on. Maybe give it a day. There it goes. See, you just gotta wait an entire day and watch your manpower or your garrisons just get hit just a little bit more. But we're still mobilizing anyways right now. We have 22 factories after we have fully cored these states, which is not bad. Not bad. But, so, a couple things to address first. Encryption, decryption. Now, from yesterday's video, I said I didn't really understand or know if these really help you that much. It helps you a little bit, according to some people who left comments yesterday. So, I'm going to go ahead and get them. I mean, we got six research slots. It's, you know, it's pretty worth it, I guess. It does give out a small bonus. Uh, something I want to continue on from yesterday, I'm still trying, or will go, with heavy lifter robots as as reasonable as I possibly can. Good, we need more robots too, by the way, because we want to go to over the Yakuza territories in about 80-ish, less than 80-ish days, less than three months. So we need at least one more division to fully cover the line, but then at least one more, two more, three more, before we do anything else. So, <clears throat> the cause was annexed, very nice. I just clicked on enter, or clicked enter, and I'm not sure what just happened. Whatever, whatever. Anyways. Oh, ah, there's one more thing I do want to address. So let's see. First, let's get a field marshal. Less attack, less def... What? I like his agile. I like his perceptive. I uh, don't like that. Perceptive. Awareness more recon. Oh, that's not bad. Lanite attack. And he's... Division attack def... Oh, well, we still have a little bit more political power. Let's see. Dweller Horatio. More supply consumption, but more division speed, which is... Uh, it's okay. More, he's strong. Ah, there we go. Only 5% more. Yes, you will be promoted immediately. Welcome joining the team Dweller Horatio. And you're a field marshal. A local leader. Oh, um, this stuff is nice. Oh, leader experience gain. Now, I don't know. Leader, I don't think this applies. Or if it does, it's much to a much less effect. But if you use a unit leader trait as a field marshal, I don't think you get that stuff. I don't think you do. I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong about that. But I'm not really sure. Maybe someone in the comments below can tell us. And there's one more thing I do want to talk about before uh, I address one more thing. Before we continue on. Uh, heavyweight. You know what? We're using tanks eventually. We're using tanks right now. For the most part, our entire army is tanks. Robots are, should be considered armor. So, let's go with heavyweight. That would be very good. So, let's talk about this. So, I have outsider volunteers. Uh, really, Vault City, Vault Tech, or Vault City, Vault 8. It, if you ever played Vault Fallout 2... You know that, really, there it's almost impossible to become a citizen, and they really don't like outsiders that much. So it makes more sense to go with no outsiders, but to play, to, or quickly core territory in Old World Blues, you have to go outside of uh, battalions. Even though it hurts your resistance target, like I said yesterday, the compliance gain is so good that this is the best, one of the best possible options for you to choose for outsider battalions. So I'm probably going to go with this. I know it doesn't make too much sense if you're going to roleplay as Vault City. It really doesn't, but I want to make sure that we do pretty darn well anyways. But let's go ahead and grab... Let's grab one of these. I'll, see, I'll leave one research slot here for uh, decryption, encryption, stuff like that. One for APCs, one for Land Doctrine. Oh, we got Doggos too. That's good. Oh, and another division. Glorious. Now, I could use this and modify our government. What I do like about Old World Blues, I really like, is that even though... If you want to go to two-year conscription, it has to, you can do that eventually once it's past 2278. I hate in Vanilla Hoi 4 being limited at what your conscription level can be based on your war support, whether you're a fascist or communist, but in Old World Blues, just got to wait a certain amount of time. And you know what? I don't know how long you guys play Old World Blues, but for me, I go until like 2290 sometimes. Like in some campaigns, I mean, it's long campaigns for us, which is pretty much just how I play. So anyways, stability... Uh, we already have 99%. That's already pretty good. We have no one else for economic advisors, which really sucks. No one for research advisors, because that hurts our army XP quite a bit, actually. Uh, Chief of the army. Less training time, more organization. Actually, are there any decisions? Water. Research speed could be really fun if we abused it. Medical techs. That's okay. 
major businesses. You know what? Just grab me more construction speed, and then we're going to raise construction next, just because it's okay. It's okay. Ah, uh, Utopian City, in which we get three more civilian workshops. Now, I could do the lights went off in Reno. Thrad will become the leader, probably, in Reno. We'll double-check them. Purify the flock for more stuff. Develop the old fort. Or developing an old fort. That's okay. We could restore the council so we can get more political power. Get more daily intellectual support. More political power. Research speed. Non-core manpower. Monthly population. And then, I've already just talked about that yesterday. But let's go with courtyard medical regulation. Because the center part of this branch just gives you... Or lowers the effects of... No, no. It gives you more stability and war support, which we already have enough stability. War support, we don't care about. So, courtyard medical regulation. Many of the people that came, or come, <clears throat> to the courtyard come seeking the trickle-down effect of our medical capabilities. We can't offer each and every person that asks a replacement limb our ability, make promises, and quietly sterilize those too mutated to be of further use means we have excellent population control. You get just a whole 5% more population a month, which right now we get eight guys. Eight more population, and now we have doggos. Also, there's a reason why I'm not using dynamite. Uh, we'll look at that a little bit later. Just because it's really not worth it anymore. Maintenance company is actually this, though. This could be really, 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 really good. It's almost 2276. I'm going to go ahead and start getting uh, thruster engines. It's not that much... It's only three, it's just a little bit more speed, which really isn't much, but whatever. Plant cultivation, do that. 2276, it's ahead of time, ahead of time, ahead of time. Well, we're already okay for now. Engineering stuff, I could do that. How about plane stuff? Mmm. I love me some close air support. I really love close air support. Huh. Yeah, at this point, I might as well not even train. Oh, we can actually see now the encryption, the decryption stuff. Really good. Look how strong that division might be. Either one battalion to 15 battalions. That's a lot of battalions. We only have three battalions in our light robots. That ain't much. That really ain't much. Five infantry. Human targeting firmware. Very good. More breakthrough in organization. Tire profile. Let's get more robot breakthrough organization for our entire army and more max speed. Next up, support infantry. That's ahead of time. Scout kits. Really not worth it. Uh, salvage motorcycles. It is then. Good, good, good. We're good on guns. We definitely need more robots. We can go to war immediately, but I'm a little concerned. You know, between 1 to 15 infantry battalions there. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot. But you know what? I'm probably going to suffer a few casualties. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm just going to yep, assume that they're going to attack us first. Two divisions. All right. Oh, I didn't even pause it. Uh, you know what? Let them wear themselves out a little bit longer. Yes, yeah, our infantry will get hit quite a bit. We're going to lose a couple guys. Oh, I already lost one. Happens. If that's the case, I don't mind mushing you guys down this way. Anything that's going to help support the attack. Really make this guy weak. Because we we'll just push him in. Consolidate our line a little bit more. Hopefully we can produce another Protectron soon enough. We've got to make some doggos eventually too. Actually, you know what? Do that. Survivalists. Cool. And we're losing maybe a little bit. Oh, let's get some more encryption. Let's get some more decryption because that's really good for seeing enemy stats. Uh, good. Fort Maul joined the Northern League. Very nice. Take a tile first from them. Wow, they're really killing off that robot. But they can't pierce my armor, which is probably the best thing that could happen. Ah, uh, 14 losses. Not bad. Versus 85. Could be better. Could be, of course, be better. Basic tools. Next up. Ah, uh, we got enough things there. Just grab more encryption for now. It, it won't hurt us. Just for doing that. We could attack here. I'm not really feeling it, though. Really not. Ah, oh, look at that. Good. Ah, uh, courtyard medical regulation. Great. Let's grab Institute Courtyard Draft for more population. The seething hordes in the courtyard are viewed by many as little more than an annoyance, a leech upon our resources. It might be true that more goes into them than they give back, but what they are is a ready pool of manpower. A meat shield against the horrors of the wasteland. You know what? We get that population now. I'm going to save up my political power and go with outsider battalions. Yeah, 5%. I want more compliance. Just tons of compliance. I have to have it. I have to have to have it. And then I'm going to save up and go to war with someone else very soon. Not really sure. Desert Rangers. Now, this is... I was thinking about this. Bring the dogs to heal. It depends on what the Desert Rangers do. If they form the Nevada Pact, that might be okay. If they join the NCR, that's going to be a big problem for us. If they want to go to war with us, which might not happen. If they join the Brotherhood of Seal, that's okay. 
but if they do the Nevada Pact, they might ally with New Reno, and that's a, that's a big problem for us because we, we don't have a lot of divisions on our front against them. But whatever. Also, we do want to justify uh, East Port. Depends how fast I want to go to war with the 80s. I don't even know how many divisions they have either. Eh, 10 to 21, that's not bad. I might just go to war with Kimmelt Station. But I really had to think about... Oh, wait. Oh, the Troll Warren is still here. They're pretty strong. I mean, they're pretty strong. So we got to keep an eye on them as well. All right, so let's take a good look at these losses now. You know what? You're coming down here. You're coming in right here. And we're going to cut that division off if we can. 131. 133, I mean. Versus 18. We're not quite winning there yet. And that's okay. If we can win here, that would be great. Decode signals, more encryption. Just go ahead and grab more vacuum tubes. That'd be awesome. You help out. They're not moving up. That's good. We still got divisions moving around. And circle and destroy. Good, 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 good. And there you go. Now that's not good. They're attacking us like crazy. Go ahead and help out. Yes, we're missing quite a few guys here and there. But yeah, it happens. You know what? Do last stand. I do not want to lose this. We just got this tile. It's going to cost us a little bit more manpower. It's going to cost us a little bit more strength. So be it. So be it. Oh, wait. Uh, I'd like you to help attack here, too. Oh, oh they're not going to... Uh, God dang it. They're going to have to retreat then. God dang it. That sucked. Well, we can still push them out. Or not. Uh, you know what? Just tell everyone to hold for now. Maybe except right here. <clears throat> hmm. Still don't have a lot of army XP, which is disappointing. Good. Just hold for now. We gotta save our robots just a little bit. Ooh. Even though we keep making more, 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 which is very nice. Could you guys win here? What's your manpower like? They have 8 to 12 divisions, and that much manpower. Cool, we've lost 40 versus 200. Not bad. Not bad. If you really wanted to, you could help push these guys further out, even though encirclements are much more important. Hmm, thruster engines. Very good. Help them out there. And... More reliability? Sounds good to me. Ah, oh, good. Triplane attacker is very nice. Lightweight metals. Let's do that. Very good. Institute Courtyard Draft. Very awesome. Let us go ahead and grab security militarization. The security forces centered around Vault City have long been incapable of acting as a proper military outfit, due in part to fears that they might overtake the city government, and because before there was a need to expand rapidly. Now, however, we find ourselves in need of organized training. Training time goes down, which is fine. You know, whatever. Whatever. And more wars are happening. No one cares. Good, good, good. Oh, they're attacking me here. Good. I'm glad you're supporting the attack, and then you'll move up. They threw another division in there. That's fine. Part of the reason I'm doing this even though it's costing us a little bit more manpower. Ooh, we're not winning anymore. That's not good. Go ahead and hold, then. Just gonna grab and hold for now. It's because I need army XP. And we don't have any army XP whatsoever because, well, we don't. <laughs> uh, there's really not much else to say. I mean, we don't have a researcher. Oh, well, and kind of one of their divisions can pierce us. That's really not bueno. That actually will be able to push us back. Oh, they're attacking us here, too. You know what? So be it. So be it. Another division, though. Good. You know, I'm thinking they want to. They want to attack me so badly. So be it. Help them out. We might lose that tile. We're gonna lose a lot of guys from that. Well, a, a lot of guys for a robot division. Yeah, they threw on some anti-tank there. That's not good. You know what? Just go ahead and retreat to core territory. Just, just hold. It's fine. Just hold. Just hold. Help them out right there. They want to leave that tile. So be it. Part standardization, whatever, man. Uh, what do we need? Robot stuff. Go and do that. Get more hardness. Actually, can you help support? Oh, you can. The defense is over here. Is ooh, it's looking a little ooh. Yeah, that's right. It's looking a little ooh. They really don't. Uh, are you not in the battle, man? What's going on here, dude? I I don't. I don't understand that. You know what? You want to do this and then come down there? That'd be great too. All right, outside of battalions, I hate doing that, but eh, it's a necessary evil. Yeah, they're actually beating me here somehow. I don't. 
Why are you... Go, what? Uh, that don't make any sense. Oh, uh, they they have to be doing, like... Man, they're not doing Desperate Last Stand or something like that. Yeah, the Yakuza, pretty tough. But you know what? It'd be worse if we tried to take them out later. Let's grab some automated Securitrons. Or Security. Security. While recruitment is a viable option, many within Vault City would rather focus on the production of robotic guardians. Do no small part... Do in no small part to their use, meaning... We don't have to hire and promise anything to the masses in the courtyard, which is really good for production. Really, really good. You know, we'll lose a little bit here. You know, whatever, whatever. Our guys aren't that strong. We're still trying to get a little bit more army XP. Wow, we are really not doing well down here, are we? That's really not good. Oh, well. Ah, uh, we have another Securitron, just in case. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Dynamic team integration. Uh, quality, less supply use, less salt usage, more breakthrough, I like that. More hardness and armor, less division attrition, we lose soft attack? No, no, no. Quality is where it's at. They want to push through? You know what? I love it. I love it when you push through. Don't even win there. Yeah, no, 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 no. What the hell are you doing? Son, get down here. They gonna need a little bit of help right there. They want to attack, so be it, so be it. Ah, look at that, beautiful. Now kill them off immediately. This was all part of the plan. Kill every single one of these boo-boos off. Actually, I could probably go straight for the capital, but eh, I want to be a little bit safe about this. We lose 120, we lose 200 max. I'll feel good, pretty good about this war. Ah, look at that. Dying. Now, they've stopped attacking, which is fine. You guys stop attacking. Hey, look. Dead men walking. Yeah, hey, look at that division. That's pretty weak. There's nothing they can do. Look at that guy going all frantic like. Oh, come on, come on. Jolly good. All right, it's cool. I'm going to lower this by one because we. after this war, I'm going to go ahead and st start doing some more army XP stuff so we can get at least a 10 combat width. 10 combat width would be very nice. And we can also start, you know, saving up our robots for production stuff. Losses, 128 versus 1,000. Pretty good. Alright. Nicholas, what have you been learning? Desert, Fox, Hill Spider. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, just let them attack us for now. They can't, they can't do that much damage to us, I think. They can't really pierce us either. Good, good, good. Get some more robots in our guys first. Absorb the army XP. We got nowhere to go. Ah, fuel refinement, very good. And I do have a couple of, uh, Vault City coffee here. Intel Ledger. Ah, they're running out of manpower. Good. Fuel refinement. 1.3. Soft attack. Mr. Hans. Uh, they're okay. I much prefer Protector on Mark IIs, but, you know, I'll use them if I can. Maybe. Maybe. That's a definite maybe. Better reinforce rate. Might as well. Ah, oh, lightweight metals. Glorious. Monoplant. Oh, that's, that's uh, just a little bit too ahead of time for me. That's just, uh, just a little bit. That uh, looks looking good. We can probably grab some more soft attack. Good. Let's get more fighting and more and more fighting. More, 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 more. And I will change that infantry division to regular robot division eventually. Come on. Keep fighting me. Keep draining your own selves. Oh! Okay, Desert Rangers. Yeah, help us out. Yeah. Ah, and here we go. Automated security, more production. That's exactly what we needed and wanted. We get more population down there, which is really cool. But, oh, we need security council. Look at that army XP. I need it. The safety of Vault City remains an absolute priority, and it is the duty of the council to maintain that safety. Absolutely. Now, what do I want to do with this? Spend it on something that I don't need at the moment, probably. Uh, military high command, division tech defense. That's not bad. I could probably do this one. What else we got here? Oh, more defense. I love the defense thing. Yeah, the defense is pretty good. But, you know what? Everyone gets defense with this. Good. Keep. It's not much. And you know what? If I could get the Desert Rangers to kill these people off for us, that'd be great. And who are we going to go to war with next? I might say... Ooh, the Warns at War. Nice. Antelope Tribes. Now, whoever we go to war with next will be the nation that we puppet, because I can't afford coring everything at the same time. <sighs> Antelope tribes. Mm, they don't have a lot of manpower. Uh, New Reno would be too tough. They're, they're good, they can be really quite tough, depending on what happens. 
Eastport? That's not bad. We might go to war with Eastport then. Even though they might get conquered by the 80s, which would put us in kind of a bad position. But it could be worse. Making a lot of this. Plenty of guns. Plenty of guns. Making a few doggos as well. Love it. Salvage motorcycles. Very cool. They keep attacking me. Ah, and the Desert Rangers are attacking for us. Glorious. How beefy are their boys? We got some beefy boys. Not bad, not bad. Still mobilizing a little bit more. Awesome. And at this point, I could do a, a general attack siege, siege of Hidden Valley. Uh, you can help attack there. I don't want to lose too much manpower or anything like that. But, you know, I don't mind supporting the attacks. Except here. Go ahead and help out. Ah, plating, uh, plating add-on. Very good, very good. We're going to grab some rubber refinement to get our first APCs. Might use a combination of robots and APCs, depending on what happens. Oh, they're attacking us here. Oh, these guys are pretty darn weak. That looks quite unfortunate. Stop them from trying to win. Very good. Very good. Oh, actually, you know what? If that's the case... Hmm. Come on. Oh, you push, push down immediately. You guys just go that way. Nice. How fast do we make these robots? Holy cow. I'm going to cut this division off, kill them off, and then we'll do a general push. I know this episode's taking a while to kill off the Yakuza territory, but it is what it is, you know. Specialized alloys. Just go ahead and... Uh... Military hardware it is. Good. Another division dead and destroyed. Security councils next. Awesome. More army XP, which is great. Infantry weapons, population, army XP, power armor, robotics. Oh, we could do robotics immediately. Vehicles. Oh, vehicles would be so good too. I'm gonna go with robotics since I'm focusing on that so hard right now. So, joint contracts with Robco have partial pa patents that will help that will help us or us develop our robotics technology. That's, I think, pretty worth it. So, uh, you know what? If you wanna do something like this, and then you just go somewhere like that. I think anyone's really going to object to that. There you go. Legion. You know what? Instead of making these guys, let's get these guys up to 10 combat with. Uh, you know what? Just do it over here. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to cost us a lot to do that, but that's okay. 900 robots. It is what it is. It be what it be. Cool. Send everyone to attack here except you. Now, they look really weak, but, you know, they're not really that weak. Another division to encircle. Actually, I should push that way, really. And besides, we got time until we can go to war with Eastport, which shouldn't be nearly as strong as the Yakuza territory. Shouldn't be. Uh, disrespect to people, of course. The Yakuza people are very cool. Huh. They went with robots, but they're using a lot of infantry right now. Very interesting decision. Very interesting choice. Help, help us out, get a civilian factory... We get 12 people a month. Not a lot, I know. Not a lot, but whatever. Oh, wait. You guys help out. You know what? If they just want to stack everyone there, just do something like that. <clears throat> I'm totally okay with that. Just, just distract them. Take Valent. Cut all these guys off. And there they go. To Carson City we go. Merry, merry, merry way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Up, kill them off. We've lost 261. Darn it, I've lost over 200 men. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm sorry, guys. They lost 2,000. So, it is what it is. Ah, there they go. So, I lost more men than I would have liked to. I'm trying to keep my casualties to a minimum. But, it, you know, what happens, happens. Cool. And, well, just it. I guess time to go on. We need to produce more stuff. Right world territory, declare war and grab your territory. That's cool. Kill each other off. Now we have to garrison this area. Resistance is rising. Sporadic outpost. No, I'm going to go with wasteland pacification because even though it costs a ton of manpower to garrison this place, where we get 200 more percent daily required uh, garrisons and a lot more damage to garrisons. We did take early on the minus 40 percent damage to garrisons, which should be okay. But resistance to target and so much more compliance. So you want to do this, I think, pretty fairly early on. I don't want to throw in dogs on here, but do we have enough doggos? 
We have 54 in storage. The requirement for dog will change by zero in total. Well, let's see what happens. Because I can't have a death set of dogs. That's... Okay, so we have enough dogs. Only one factory on dogs. That's still good enough for us. That's still very good. And then eventually we can core this territory. You see our manpower dropped a little bit. It's still dropping by a little bit as well. But it's going back up. Cool. Fuel maintenance, very good. Mr. Handies, maybe I should have not researched that. Oh, well. We have more breakthrough for our robot soon after we finish. The flesh is weak. Oh, man, the flesh is weak. Oh, baby, yes, it is. But we're going to immediately go for heavy lifters because this is what's going to make our divisions super strong besides, of course, air support. Primitive radio, very good, very good, very good, very good. Uh, circuitry, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Ah, more defense, even though it's only for infantry. Mechanized, motorized, flamethrower add-ons, very good. Next up, protection on Mark II's. Oh, actually, what about for industry? Crop rotation, let's do that one. Cool. A Vault Tech Robotics. Very awesome. Now, let's go ahead. Ooh, tanks. I like tanks. Sur service for citizenship. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, uh, this stuff is good for building stuff. I love building stuff. Love, 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 love it. And we can integrate the courtyard and remove courtyard inequality. Future of the servants. I'm going to grab some more political power for restore the council because we're going to need it when we core territory. So restore the council after the gecko crisis to let us rule more efficiently. And let's see. Where are we? So let's take a good look at this. A quick look. Oh, wait. I thought I was justifying on them. Am I not just justifying? Oh, I was never justifying on them. That is my fault. 149, 145 days. But that gives us time to really focus on resistance, which will take a good look and then we'll end the episode. Let's see. So right now, we have 7.5 compliance. It goes up to 7.8, which isn't much, but 0.3 a day, that's actually quite a bit. That's actually quite a bit, and that does help you, in time, lowering your, the resistance level to your occupation, in which you can eventually core. Oh, well. But tomorrow, 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 there's several things that are going to be happening. For example, we will go to war with the Mountain City Eastport people. We should probably go to war with someone else, but I will most likely... Puppet Eastport. I might, I might not, depending on how far we get with coring. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably raise my conscription level, because that's probably going to be important. Mm, division defense, whatever. But anyways, I've got to end the episode here. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, as we have a great fun time with Thick Robots. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and a happy new year in 2277. Thanks for watching.